Hello, everybody. It's been a while. I don't know if you can tell. I feel like I've explained this at the start of every single fucking stream that I've done in winter. But hey, I get a little bit less active during the winter. Hey, seasonal depression. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> it's an amazing thing to deal with, right? But hey, I feel like every time that I have done a stream uh, during the winter, ever since like things have gotten a little bit slower, that every stream that I put out has been pretty damn good because I've had an amazing slew of content. And today's no fucking different, because I'm joined not just by some beautiful people in the chat, like Zale Song, Marvelous Raven, we got that Amber Chick, we got, oh my god, is that Lucas Warner? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh man, what's up, what's up Lucas Warner? You know, I'm, I was not expecting to see Lucas Warner in, in, live in the chat. Alright, anyway, I gotta, I gotta bring, show you guys my guess. I gotta show you guys. We got. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> what up, Lucas Warner? What? <laughs> How's it going? Right. What up, everyone else in the chat too? Yeah, hey, hey, Annie. What's up? What's up? I, I, I'm not only joined by. Uh, nice to see you all here. Lady Hopium's here. Yeah. Lady <laughs> sorry, Hopium's that here. just tickled me. I was like, "What the fuck, Lucas Warner's?" In it the really chat. took okay. me off guard. Yeah, I was like, "Holy shit." Yeah, I, I was I was perfectly on my game before that happened. <laughs> and I, I got RJ here too. Hey, um, what's up, everybody? We got some interesting shit to talk about. Um, <laughs> so I I don't even know where to begin with this. What's my ultimate goal? Um, I still okay. I, honestly, I've been putting together questions. I still want that interview, Lucas Warner. I still want to have an interview with you. I want to pick your brain, and I want to see. I want to see. Uh, I want to see. I don't know. I just want to get opinions. That's what that's my end goal because 
I feel like I'm missing context. I feel like I should remember who this guy is, but I don't. No, no, I've never introduced you to Lucas Warner, and I don't don't know how to even introduce you to Lucas Warner. He's a dude with some very out-there opinions who we talk about on this show sometime. I feel like I'm in a South Park episode. (laughs) What, because we're Canadian here? Is that like some Canadian? I'm just kidding, whatever. Uh... What's up? Oh, Fit and Curvy. What's up, Fit and Curvy? Hope so wait, well. he's the one who was saying that dumb uh, 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 socialist shit, was, wasn't he? Yeah, which is... The, is... Like, really? Fam, you're a, you're a disgrace to leftism. Please oh, stop. Geez. Stop Jeez. advocating for it. You don't know what you're talking about. You make us sound like a bunch of lunatics. But honestly, I, m- maybe that's your goal uh, altogether. M- maybe that m- maybe you're like one of those right wing uh, uh, disinfo motherfuckers. I don't, I, like, I, know. I don't know about but if that. You, if you care about socialism or leftism at all, shut the fuck up. Because you you don't know what you're talking about. All right, all right. All right. we'll dive into Lucas. <laughs> That's Warner all I have to say bit. to Lucas Warner. I want right? to talk. I want. I do want to talk about the pop culture <laughs> shit first. So I look. look have, we'll, have we'll, with it. Yeah, no, yeah. no, like that. That's literally all I have to say to Lucas Warner. We we can right. move on from it now. Fair, I, fair. All right. I, um, I, I'm busy trying to actually advocate for socialism over here. <laughs> What's up, Blaine? We got fucking Blaine here. We got Ken. We got Ken too. Oh, we got fucking Matt Jarbo. If you want to ever Yo, hop Matt. in at any point, you're probably doing your fucking job right now, but if you want to hop in at any point, feel free. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, okay. Yeah. We're, yeah. Yeah. Let's move on. How do I even like, how, how do I, how do we transition into, <laughs> yeah. How do I transition to this? All right. I guess we'll talk about the most recent thing Sonic? that came out because a lot of, yeah. Yeah. Cause a lot of people don't know about this part yet, but they just announced a new fucking Sonic the Hedgehog video game. Um, I've ne- I've not heard the audio on this yet. I've just seen the visuals. So let's take a look at it real fast. By the way, we do have 15 people already watching this shit. So drop a like if you like this shit. It really helps us out. Pop. Oh, what's up? Yeah, we got Jay Nova too here. Uh, what's Hells up, yeah. Jay Nova? Oh, yeah. All right, let's dive into this shit. Let's not keep the people in suspense any longer. Sonic Team. <laughs> All right, so I will say, this is a really cool fucking trailer so far. Like, just, like, and, and the entire trailer um, has, like, nice visuals, but, like, this is the same shit that they did with, like, Sonic Forces. I'm like, sorry, trailer, Annie? This is, this, this, is pre, this is pre-rendered footage. This is not a trailer. Yeah, no, I, mean, I haven't like, seen gameplay yet. Yeah, but, like, I mean, you can still do a <laughs> fucking trailer for something. I'm ve- No, I'm very rigid on this. It's not a trailer to me unless there's gameplay in it. Otherwise, it's just well, a I mean, teaser. Well, it's not a well, gameplay I, I, trailer. I could but... spoil it, but they do show what appears to be some gameplay later on. They better. All right, oh, let's hi, keep watching. Hi there, Saggy. Hi. Yo. Have you seen this yet? Have you seen the new Sonic trailer for the new fucking... Uh, Is it the, the game Sonic or the movie? It's the, the game. game. It's, it's the game coming out next year. Oh, right. I want to see. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, all right well... Uh, it's just him running through a Sephora so far. You haven't missed anything. Let's take it. Okay. This is where the gameplay comes in. Yeah. Even if this isn't gameplay, this is very clearly like... Look at that what locations in the game will look like oh shit they hired, they hired that guy that they always wanted nintendo to hire right. the sonic to hire this man guy guys, i mean the sega <laughs> yeah. guy i love it yeah, hire yeah. This man, yeah. It, guys i have been waiting all my fucking life for sonic adventure 3 could this be the game i've been waiting for maybe Maybe, yeah. That's I refuse. True. I refuse to to get my hopes up. Yeah, I will don't get not, your hopes up. I will not. This could be another fucking uh, Legends Arceus <laughs> situation where it's like Monster Hunter instead yeah. of like an open world <laughs> or but Sonic I, the Hedgehog. But I gotta or... say though, this looks very nice. This looks beautiful. But yeah, you know what? Clearly, clearly, they're like this is trying to take visual inspiration from Breath of the Wild. Clearly. I mean, so- Sonic Chronicles looked interesting too. What if Zelda? Yeah, that's up? true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure the Sonic and the Sega doesn't own Zelda though. Yeah. Sonic and the Secret Rings looked really cool. Well, you know what? Okay, well there was um, 
I'm pretty sure like in a Sonic Lost World, there was like a Zelda level or something like that. Yeah, there was. No, there was DLC because the, there was like a Zelda crossover thing that, that you could get, like like this Zelda DLC. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, I, I remember that. Wow. That's pretty impressive. I mean, like, let me take a look at that again. That was a really impressive show. Wow, you're right. That <laughs> damn. Holy crap! They went. They brought the A game with the Sonic game. Yeah, you, you know what? If this is why because so the last long, one wasn't received very well. So yeah, it's like make or break for Sonic in some this, regards. This better be what the game actually looks like. It better be. Yeah, this better not be some fucking watchdog shit I, where it looks nothing like this. Yeah, because I want to explore this world. If this is an open world Sonic, I want to explore this fucking place. Oh my god! Yeah, it's really promising. I don't know, yeah. I mean... But, like, this game, be also, it better be full of content. It, it better, better be, not. Yeah. It better not just be like, oh, here's this open world, and uh, it's actually just like, a, like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, where it leads you to a few levels, and then it's over. Because th th there needs to be, like, fucking... A, a shit ton of content no, there, there here. Needs there to needs be actual, to be... It can't just be a completely empty fucking sandbox. That's yeah, pretty. exactly. Yeah. Like, there needs to be stuff to do here. Sonic Frontiers. Frontiers. Oh shit, Nintendo that's Switch. It? Oh yeah, there, yeah, that's it. Oh, wait, so... Nintendo Switch? That means it's not gonna be that impressive. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's on PS4 too, so... It's on all of them, yeah. Yeah, but the fact that it's gonna be on the Switch as well at launch means it's not going to be like because because a lot of games these days like like uh like doom, I don't know. doom Maybe... eternal was originally announced for xbox and ps4 and it came out on the switch later because they had to make a so like, maybe they made it with older hardware in mind and they stylized maybe? it in some way to make it work i don't know maybe so I, I, I was so. gonna so i was gonna mention so on the steam page for this game they said that they're oh, okay. they're saying that what they're calling this is that uh Sonic will explore what they call open zones. So it's not really an open world game, but it is like open zones. So like, I mean, but they're also that's... teasing. They're also teasing that Sonic is going to fight bosses on a gargantuan scale. The rumors right now is that the bosses are going to be like Shadow of the Colossus. Basically. If we can get like a Mario Odyssey sort of deal, that'd be cool too. Where it's just like a lot of big, expansive like sandboxes. That'd be that'd still be really cool. I mean, um, what, what this actually kind of reminds me, this reminds me more of Sonic Adventure 1, uh, especially of like the, uh, the, uh, what, what was it called? The, the Mystic Ruins. Like it kind of um, gave me vibes of like that, that place a little bit. And because what I've always wanted from a Sonic game was to take what they did with Sonic Adventure 1 and build on that. And all these years later, let's be honest with, with, with the, the evolution of, of gaming, like they can do a lot if they build off of that idea. If they actually try, yeah, they could do a lot. But like, look, there's this game's had a lot of time in the oven, so maybe they actually have put in the effort. I hope uh, there. Are, I do hope there's also like classic 3D levels in this as well, and it's not just a giant open world. Oh, uh, see. Yeah, yeah, like, sort of like how they had the sections in Mario. No, no, let's, 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 yeah. little tiny Sonic, 2D Sonic's gonna come in just like at Sonic Forces. He's gonna oh, be like, "Hey no. guys, remember me? No. I'm, gonna be, I'm see... never gonna have the worst levels again." I never want to see a 2D Sonic in a 3D Sonic game ever me. again, ever okay. again. Like right, it's yeah. either a 2D Sonic game or it's a 3D Sonic game. Pick one, okay? Because some people like one better than the other. I particularly like 3D Sonic games better. I don't care for 2D Sonic ones. So Zale gave uh, 10 bucks for Get Sonic. A oh, new yeah. Space Marine game was announced after the Game Awards tonight. Also, hey, Lucas, care to tell the audience why you were kicked out of Truth Ministries? Tell us <laughs> no lies now, boy. <laughs> Damn. Jesus Christ, damn jams on. Thank you for the ten bucks. I appreciate you. I don't. I don't think Lucas is still around. <laughs> no, no. I think Lucas probably fucked off. Uh, the hell are we watching? That's the new fucking Sonic game, real life. Uh, yeah. Cool. Well, there's a lot of interesting stuff. I mean, they announced um, what else they announced? They announced uh, a Wonder Woman game is coming from Monolith. The people who made the Shadow of Mordor games, the Middle Earth games for Warner Brothers. That could Brothers. be interesting. Yeah. Uh, they also announced. I'm trying to remember. Uh, Alan Wake 2, which is pretty big. What, do you uh, not approve of that, Saggy? Like, what's nah, Saggy's just a hater. Or this one so. already talks, that's all. What? Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's all farting sounds. What's up, Satirical <gasps> Rabbit? 
<laughs> Hope you're doing well. Oh my god, Lucas Warner is still here because Spokane has weird huh? posting on light pole law. What? Uh, well, I don't know what the fuck. I, I don't know. May, I, may, I don't know. I, I guess well, I guess I'll ask you that question. I, I guess I'll ask you about that in your fucking interview. You're still you, willing to do a fucking interview. You should ask him what he thinks socialism is. Fuck you, Matt Jarvo. Oh my god, Jarvo. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, they also had the trailer for the Halo TV show for Paramount Plus, which looked pretty good. Damn. Did, did you see the live action Halo movie that they came out with? It was pretty good. I liked it. Uh, they also announced Among Us VR. Among, oh my god, dude! No. Among Us VR. So I played. Um, I I have Oculus Quest two, and they have an Among Us game in VR chat, which was so freaking fun in VR. It was. I feel fun. like Among Us like missed out on its chance. Like they could have, they should have updated their game more. Like when it was really, yeah. really popular. By the way, you know? coolest announcement, real quick. Cuphead DLC, it's finally coming out. Cuphead, the delicious last course, comes oh. out June 30th, 2022. I am so excited for that. I've been waiting like over like two years for the Cuphead DLC to come out. Cuphead has caused me a lot of mental anguish, and I just don't want to relive that. Well, even more reason to love that game, then. Dude, right. Cuphead's hard as hell, dude. That game is so oh, frustrating. It's very hard, but I love it. That, no, that's that's the real fucking Lucas Werner. Like, I, I know for he's fact. not a socialist. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, You're... that's another fucking question for the interview, I guess. Man. Wait, and and Anna Anach, wait, wait. Red versus blue IRL. Oh my god. I think god, he means anarcho communist. I I don't think you know what anarcho communist means either. Wait, did he say that? I'm not sure where he said yeah. that. No, he he. Oh, he, there he just said that. Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. I, I mean, that's still... Whatever. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it in the interview. Anyway, the Sonic the Hedgehog uh, movie trailer. This looked pretty good, too. It's been a good week for Sonic the Hedgehog, which I never thought I'd fucking say ever, but okay. I... I'm sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, the main reason why I saw the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, because I, I didn't... I, I thought it was okay. I th I didn't think it was like the best movie. It was but fun. I it was, it was I, a cute it, little I know, movie. It was a cute little movie, but I supported it more because I respect the production company for doing what they did. When they when we, we they listened to the feedback and they spent another like few months or whatever fixing it. And that's where I was like, yeah, I have to support this movie because that's, that's a very rare instance where a production company listens to the fans of the original work. And they're like, all right, we got to do something about it. I don't know if uh, Luke would be interested in taking some questions from like people in the community or if he just wants it to be me but whatever i'd be Can interested i ask a question yeah go ahead um no, i don't I mean this to sound rude uh but who is lucas Warner? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah no exactly the same thing yeah yeah no um so he's just a dipshit it's he, fine. he's a dude with some very <laughs> some very colorful colorful fucking beliefs who i i think has some very extreme political beliefs which i don't think he fully grasped the idea of and he's also done some really uh, strange things that I think require some questioning. And I, I don't know. I just want I, I want to pick his brain live on air. So, oh, okay. uh, yeah, that's kind of why we keep. He's uh, also a, a very bad advocate for communism. It, yeah. <laughs> or, or, or any political ideology, in my opinion. I, I just uh, look, Lucas, Warren, I don't think that you I, I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out when I actually challenge you in real time. But I don't think that you put you put as much thought in your like ideology as you really should. Anyway, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. This this better be starring Ben Schwartz again. I love it. It is. It is. It, yeah, he is. Quick strip. Oddly enough, though, uh, the voice actor for Tails is not like some celebrity. It's the same. No, it's one from the video games. Yeah. Interesting. Actually, huh? that that's probably better. I I, I prefer. And that. here we go. Uh, look, he used a chili dog. It's Sonic the Hedgehog. Is he a superhero now? All right. Yeah, basically. Yeah, when you get to the knuckles part, like they make it out like they have like some. <laughs> An appeal to fucking age. Oh my god, get out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm older than you guys. After this trailer, can we get him on now? Because oh I'm god. curious now. <laughs> Oh my god. I've been me on this interested. planet for longer than you. You, you know what? I, 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 there, you want, there's no point he that he refutes on, he himself. If you, I mean, if he ever want, if he really does want to come on, I guess. Uh, Lucas, I guess now I right. want to pick your brain. I just met you, and now I'm curious. <laughs> oh you, my! You god. sparked my curiosity. Now. <laughs> wow. And I, if you think Anna's bad, ooh. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! No All capitalism, right. no government. I agree, but how do you fucking get there? I bet well, you don't know. 
Will there be a will there be a Sanchu cameo? Hey, you never know. Anything's possible. Anything's oh, fucking no. possible. No, well, can we not? Yeah, no, let's not do that. But <laughs> hey, but anything's fucking possible. I love that you want to help make a difference. Mind if I drive? This is gonna be like a cinematic universe. Like we I can already tell, like this is gonna be like some type of a cinematic universe, right? They're gonna try and do more than just Sonic the Hedgehog. Are you being reckless? Don't worry, nobody's gonna get hurt. Pretending to be Batman, Blue Justice, trademark pending. You're still just a kid. Trust me, there will come a moment when your powers will be needed. But you don't choose that moment. That moment chooses. Yeah, this is like really giving off the vibes like it's trying to have like the MCU. Oh, yeah. it, it reminds me like the CW shows a little bit. Like it's like, oh, you're a superhero now, Sonic. You gotta be responsible, even though uh... you're still a kid. Yeah, it seems to be a little bit more quality than a CW show, but like... Oh, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Wait, I don't know. It gives me, like, they're trying to treat him like a superhero, which is interesting. Mario vs. Sonic is on the horizon. I don't think they're going to have a similar art style, so I don't know if that'd work out, but... Yeah, well, well, Mario, the Mario movie's going to be a cartoon versus this being live-action. Yeah, That's live not action true. Hybrid, we can do a Mario. Yeah. Hey, do the Mario! Swing your arm. Say the thing! Well, that's two different movie studios, though. It's Paramount and uh, Universal, so they have to agree upon that. Hey, you know Captain Lil Bono, like, the dude who plays Mario in, like, the uh, the, the Super Show, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, I didn't say how to Jamie. Hi, Jamie! Hi, <laughs> Jamie! <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just had to play that, because that's, like, a real fucking thing that he said. Like he did a drug PSA and he yeah. was like, "Yeah, if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die." <laughs> Lucas, please, after I mean, this trailer that we're gonna watch, please come on here. Please, I'm begging you. I, I, I'm begging you to come why? on. Why? What would be the point? Because this... it'd be interesting. All right. Well, you, all right. Maybe we shouldn't do it tonight, but like you know, at some point, Sag, if you want to be there when I have the interview with Lucas Werner, I'll let you know. Um, I might just watch it till it gets to the point where I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get all right, yeah, no, yeah, we, <laughs> we'll, 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 th we'll think of something if he's whatever, if he's okay with having a conversation with two people at once, we'll talk about it. Yeah, if he he's not a pussy like Dave, I don't think he can handle me, Lucas. You couldn't handle all this, trust It'd be like a huge insult to Dave because, like, imagine Dave like like being below that, you know? That'd be crazy. Jesus Christ! All right, let's see. The first Sonic movie was okay, but meh. Yeah, I mean, some of the jokes in that movie were really fucking cringy. Let's be honest. And some yeah, of the but it was for kid. It was for kids too. Yeah, no, I get. No, I get that. And look, I'm not saying like, yeah, some of the jokes. I thought were it was fun. I had a fun time watching that. No, it was, it, no, it was fun. It was overall fun. I'm just saying, like, and whatever. Like, I, I guess that's going to be in pretty much any kids movie. It's not going to resonate with me. But you know, um, I don't know. I, I prefer a movie that tries to be aimed at fucking families rather than just be aimed at kids. Well, I appreciate with these Sonic movies that there, there, there's a sense of genuineness and warmth as well. Yeah, to where it's like they know what these movies are and, and they're trying their best to appeal to fans, and I appreciate that. Like, there's just something about these movies in particular where you can tell that they're actually they actually care about the property. They're not just pulling shit out their ass. You know? Right. That's what I'm saying. That's why I respected them when they first came out with the first image of him and he looked like dog crap. And you're just like, that's horrifying. And then they I think that's a lot of reason why people like the movie, that, too. Yeah, they saw well, I was going to mention that first yeah. design. I guarantee you that was the studio. That was to be like, he's got oh, to be updating Dude, modern hip. Even like, because right. the fact that the directors and everyone else, like, they had that backup design ready to go. You could tell us what they always wanted to do. Oh, yeah, you know? definitely. Yeah. Right, but even the even the actors, even the actors, Jim Carrey actually did interviews where he said, "Yeah, he went up to him and was like, dude, you got to change this. You got to fix this." <laughs> yeah, no, a hundred percent. Like, I feel like pretty much anyone. I don't know who the one person was who was stubborn enough to be like, "No, it has to be like this." But whoever it was, they probably got fucking fired. Right. I just got goosebumps. Wait a second. Did you steal that from Oprah? came back in time for christmas remember and that, at the yeah. end of the first movie he said i'll be i'll be home in time for christmas and oh look, shit yeah that's oh my nice god continuity with that so how do you feel about like the proper dr eggman like this is the, he looks the, good he looks, well, yeah, he yeah. looks good yeah he does look he good. looks yeah, good he... and not to mention i understood where they're going where he looked different and then they kind of explained how he kind of low-key like started looking like that so yeah, yeah he looks great i love it Definitely no. I think it looks really solid. Do you think that this is gonna have? Do you think this movie is gonna have more of like the Sonic the Hedgehog world? Because at first I thought that this sequ the sequel was gonna take entirely place in Sonic's world. 
But Maybe. Like, I mean, because this movie has a lot to do when you think about it. Uh, it has to introduce Tails, and they have to, you have to have the, the, the camaraderie. Because remember, Tails has never met Sonic in this universe yet, right? So you have to explain why Tails goes after Sonic and how they become friends. You also have to introduce the Knuckles plot where it's like, uh, what was it, Sonic 3? Where Knuckles gets tricked into fighting Sonic because Dr. Eggman finds him first and tells him Sonic's a villain. So they're doing that plot line. Plus, you have the Chaos Emeralds. It's like, there's a lot going on in this movie. You know, so, I don't know. Um, Isn't, isn't he supposed to be fat? I mean... I mean, what they probably could have gotten a different actor, but like, I, I'm glad that they didn't just take. Hey, Jim he, maybe he'll get fat, fat at the end of the movie. Who knows? I, I don't want to see him in a fat suit, though. Same thing <gasps> with like Vincent D'Onofrio. I don't want to see like the kingpin in a fat suit. I don't want to see characters in a fat suit if they're not fat. Um, same with the fucking dude from Gotham, right? The Penguin. Uh, they tried to put him in a fat suit in like the final episode. It looks so fucking awkward. Like, don't put a character. Did they in a really fat do suit. that. Yeah, I didn't watch got... Gotham, so I didn't know they did. Yeah, that. no, they did. They did. Yeah, they put him in a fat suit. It looked terrible. I'm, I'm. I guess that's kind of a spoil. I'm sorry if that's a spoiler to anybody. No, I don't care. Way. I just, I just want to see. Like, I, I had to go look it up how that looked because it probably did look horrible. Um, Lucas Warner agrees with whatever political party removes the age of consent laws. Dude needs it. To... Oh my God, Jesus Christ! <laughs> hey, all, all this and more will be fucking answered when I actually get to talk to Lucas Warner because. Yeah, there's some uh, there's some very interesting things that you've said, Lucas. Uh, you need to be held accountable for it. Uh, so five bucks, thank you very much, Zale. Um, the Sonic Cinematic Universe needs Julio White. They should fucking stick Julio White in there somewhere. That'd be interesting. Got a brand new stash. Since I've been gone, I've discovered the source of ultimate power. That sounds big. There you go, the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, that's pretty fucking interesting. Wait to ruin the joke, RJ. Yes. Hope I'm not too late. I'm sorry, who are you? Name's Tails. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Step one, light taunting. Step two, I have no idea. Uh, that's the thing that he said in the other fucking trailer too, didn't he? Hang on! Go Tails! That wasn't too bad. <laughs> oh! Yeah, they did a really good job with the design on Tails, too. Like, I, I think all the characters look really good. We'll see Knuckles in a little bit, too. Looks really good, the whole movie. Today's forecast calls for a 100% chance of adventure. Wait, can you go back, like, 10 seconds? Hold yeah, up. sure. Let me, one second. Is this back uh, far enough? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll tell you where to pause. Today's forecast calls for a 100 Right. Uh, right there. Look at what they're wearing. Yeah, I know. Oh, I, so I thought funny. that. I thought that was really cute the first time I saw it too. Like that. That is pretty adorable. It's like it's like they're dressed up for like a like an Among Us tournament or something. I don't, I don't oh, know what... No, don't say that. No, <laughs> no, don't associate this with fucking Among Us. I don't know why. It's that image makes you laugh. I don't know why. Now, now so there's gonna be game. now there's gonna be a, an Among Us Sonic DLC just because you said that. There probably will be. I've come. To I don't know why this takes you last so much. Shadow the Hedgehog is a beach. Damn, <laughs> Rickzilla. Damn, Rick Shadow Rick. the Hedgehog is pretty fucking cool. They got it. Yeah, uh, cool. He's two thousand cool. I'm He's not twenty. To, I'm willing to put money down sure. that the next movie they're going to introduce Shadow the Hedgehog, guaranteed. Oh yeah, the like, third it'll one be a probably will. Scene or something. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you know what, Jarbo? I, I I don't think that you're wrong. I I've thought that for a long time, but like we never we we will never know for fucking sure if that was the case or not. Like we'll never fucking know. So I try not to go I mean, on the assumption that it is true. But may, maybe someone was stupid enough to actually think like, no, 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 this redesign will work. It'll appeal to kids or something. No, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I like, thought they did it know. for the realism factor. They wanted to make it more realistic next to the... That, so the that's what, I, think, yeah, I think that's the reason. It's like, well, he's going to look too cartoony if he looks just like the video games. Gotta update right, him. right. That's what I think they did with it. Is they try to make him look more realistic so when you're putting him next to real life people, he looked like he fit belong there. Whereas if you like... I, I will say the biggest criticism I has, like, even though I like the new design, when you watch the movie, he doesn't look like he fits in with the real people. That's the thing. Um, but it doesn't really bother me too much because we are acknowledging he is a video game character, so it makes sense. But yeah, I think that's why they made the original design look like that. Because they wanted him to look as realistic as possible next to I mean, beings. let's be honest. Sonic has never looked like 
the the he fit it fit in well with the humans around him right in anything no in the always, cartoons it's always in, awkward yeah in sonic adventure yeah it just it doesn't he That's never why people like, hated right. that that one character's name who i can't say on youtube or i'll get demonetized from sonic x you know that one Wait. character's name who I can't say or else I'll get. I, the I actually Wait, don't what know character? what character. I don't know. You have talking. to type it. Yeah, type it in the back. Chris like, Thorndike. There, I fucking said it. <laughs> why do you get? Why do you get? Oh. oh right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Well, there we go. Yeah. What the fuck was I supposed to say? Anyway. Could have yeah. typed it. <laughs> no, no, I just came out and said it. Hey, it's the, it's their fault. They named the character that, not me. Turn to sender. Face it, you're never going to get my power. I... Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I Hold don't... on. Okay, before we address that, I just want to say I don't like this bullshit of Sonic like having a power. Like, so yeah, Sonic yeah. is just fast. Yeah, and like they, they, you'll see in a few seconds, like they make it out like Knuckles has some type of superpower too. Oh, it's God. really weird. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, mm. listen to Knuckles' voice though. I want, I want you guys' thoughts on that. Yeah, I, oh, I, no. I, I yeah, I, I, no, I don't think it's that bad. Well, listen. Do I look like I need your power? No. Uh... It's not that bad. They, yeah, they, like they uh... made that man sound tough with a. Thick accent, dude. He's like, they always yeah, make a yeah, joke definitely. that Knuckles is a black guy. <laughs> uh, no, actually, one that's really funny on Twitter today, mm -hmm. I thought it was really interesting. Like, black Twitter is talking about Knuckles and how happy they are because it's like, oh, yeah, he's black now. I'm like, okay. wait, is he? I didn't even pick that up. It, it well, sounded well, apparently, they apparently it's always been said that Knuckles was always a black coded character to where he's kind of implied to be like. I mean, yeah, Yo, just like a fucking black. Sonic Adventure too. I'm just, I'm, I'm used to Knuckles having like a low raspy voice. He's got, yeah, he's got I fucking. I mean, he's dread. voiced by Idris Elba. <laughs> yeah, Is that's he? fucking Idris yeah. Elba. Yeah, yeah that's, that's Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Wait, that's go Idris back, Elba. go back. Yeah, that's fucking Idris yeah, Elba. It's Idris Elba. You're never going to get my power. Do I look like I need your power? That's it, just Elba. Oh man, I actually I love, I don't no, know. No, Knuckles is not Ugandan. God damn it. Oh my huh. god, stop. I don't know. Maybe I just don't like the way he delivered that line. Yeah, it does sound Latino. Like I I don't know. The way he delivered that line is kind of weird. It could just be like the one line in the movie that sounds <laughs> I mean, hey, I want to see more. Maybe. I want to hear more from him. Idris Elba sure. can do a lot of fucking voices. So it's I mean, I yeah, like Idris a, Elba. Yeah, no, Idris Elba's in a lot of good voice work, actually. He's very good doing voice roles. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Where are my manners? Sonic, meet Knuckles. So yeah, a lot a lot for a second movie didn't. Yeah, really... actually one that's really funny too. Do you know what they're calling this movie in Japan? What? They're calling it Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic vs. Knuckles. Hmm. Wait, that, really? That yeah, actually so would it's be like a better a, it's, title here. It's actually a different logo too. It has all three characters, Sonic uh tails and knuckles and the logo it's weird. like red and blue yeah you I think mean, they're gonna do shadow for the third one they probably will right? probably yeah. there's a lot in the sonic fr uh <laughs> franchise like there's a lot of lore to work with yeah, yeah but that, like, that's my question to you like are they gonna introduce amy rouge the bat vector well, shadow? I mean, well i think because we, already, already, got a, rouge for we kids? already got a tease <laughs> yeah of, that's true we already got a tease in the first like movie of knuckles's race and and how they were oh like, that's right yeah the right backstory. Yeah, yeah we already oh got my god the backstory Wait. so this is going to be more of that backstory because RJ, just, i want to make a prediction like they're going to make a redesign of rouge the bat to be like more friendly for like you know kids oh and then, the and then the chuds and, yeah the, the chuds, chuds are going to complain the chuds like, yeah. shit, they took away our titties even though it's a, <laughs> even, though it's, even though it's they a character it's a character a for a kid's movie titties. yeah they're gonna be like they took away the the jiggle physics, the bat jiggle titties, mechanics. Yeah. yeah, the jiggling. The jiggle mechanics. I got the jiggle, jiggle mechanics. Mechan anyway, yeah, I want to talk about something else real fast. This is something that's really short that I want to bring up, because uh, 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 let, let me see. Because uh, Stephanie Sterling posted something recently on her Twitter, or uh, their Twitter on their Twitter. Wait, who? Uh, 
uh, Stephanie Sterling, who formerly went by Jim Sterling. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah. They, I'm still gonna say who. They, they, they uh, you, uh, they're a YouTuber. They're a fucking YouTuber. They're um, based. Yeah, yeah. They're pretty. They're pretty fucking cool. Um. And anyway, uh, so, so they posted something on Twitter, and uh, I think it speaks for itself. Let's just take a quick look. Uh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, do you, do you take a look at the Ekans. Take a, you see the snake? No. Oh God, that's embarrassing on see so the many. Snake? The... Right here. It oh, it's not moving. Way... Yeah, it doesn't slither. It fucking hovers. <laughs> the way it moves is so. Weird. That's so weird. And then the then the fact that like you you can see like the 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 frame rate like bottom out. Like when I'm when, when she goes the Pokemon to the other side, I expect anyone to make Ekans their companion to walk around with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, I kind of agree with that. You know, the funny part is though, uh, there's the animations are already in the fucking game files, they just didn't, they just didn't like code it in. This makes me wonder how bad the animations are for the other Pokemon. Yeah, you know, honestly, you know, honestly, like Diamond and Pearl. It's actually not that bad. The animations are pretty good, consistent. I, the remakes otherwise do seem pretty quality, but like I <laughs> kind of dark but sweet. I don't know. I've seen a lot of like, <laughs> bad shit. The last comment, Ekin scooting around like a purple <laughs> turd. <laughs> True. Oh, that's fucking great. They're gonna make it a new poopy emoji. The Ekin's. Oh my god, yeah. The, the Ekans. Oh my god, emoji. if somebody listen, if somebody has any animation thing, make the Ekans a poop emoji and then like post it on that person's video. That'd be like you'd win the internet. Uh Jesus True. Christ. All right, so uh, one one last thing that's like related to the whole pop culture thing uh, that I do want to touch upon. Uh World of Warcraft has been uh, associating itself with the clan once more. Um so let's take a look at that. So oh, this wait, is a... wait, wait, excuse me, the what? Uh, uh, the, the, okay, so... Th did you just is... say what I think you just yes, said? Yes, um, I did say that. Yes I, I, yes, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. Um, so this is a new set that was really controversial in uh, in World of Warcraft, uh, and, and people were, were pissed off because it looked like a fucking clansman, uh, you know, hood and shit like that. And uh, people were like, please change this. And they were like, okay. And this top version is them responding can to that i be thing. honest i don't see the difference like i unless i'm missing something see this they just added uh, the thing on the back oh there's gold on the back okay okay, okay. see yep. i think it's a stupid argument i think that it's like anyone who wears a white cape or cape and hood is just going to be immediately labeled that like no no well i don't think this was no, intentional at all, rabbit. But... no i don't think this was intentional at all but, like, they should have definitely tried to, like, at least be like, all right, well, if you don't like this You know what, though? Satirical Rabbit, now that I think about it, he's not wrong. Couldn't they argue now that he looks like a grand wizard? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I mean when, it, I, when I look at this, I don't think of the clan, so, I mean... Yeah. Well, the yeah, point is, like, a lot of people, like, Blizzard, Blizzard brought up, and, like, Whatever. If they didn't do anything about it, it'd be one thing. But they brought up, they were like, we, we, you know, it sounds like they're things. like they're 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 way too apologetic and way too concerned with trying to fix stuff that doesn't need fixing because they're trying to like cover their ass for just how things. Have oh gone yeah, no, them, def like... that, that that's definitely what it is. But like, the, it's just funny to me because like they didn't even put in like the actual effort to make it different. Like you'd think that they would have changed like the headpiece entirely and just left the rest the same. But like, no, they. <laughs> Is it's this just, a bad guy? No, this is like this is what the player character is supposed to wear. This is for like good people, basically. People still play World of Warcraft. <laughs> I know, right? Well, no, enough to get like controversial and get in the news still. Like, right, like yeah. Uh, so, so sorry, sorry to circle back, but I want to circle back to the Sonic thing. So yeah, apparently, yeah. there's like some major, massive. Oh, not the movie, the video game Sonic Frontiers. Mm -hmm. They're saying, like, there's this big article that everyone's talking about saying some guy named Ian Flynn is writing the is writing the story. Hmm. Who the hell is Ian Flynn? I have no, I have absolutely no idea. Okay, because everyone's making it. a big deal about this thing. And this is one of the best things they ever happened to a Sonic game ever. And I'm like, who the hell is Ian Flynn? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll have to look into that and figure it American, out. American, hold on. So, Ian Flynn, American film writer. Hold on. Damn, doing research live on air. Hold on, hold on. 
Uh, so Ian Flynn, also known by his internet pen name, Ian Poto, is an American comic book writer. He was chief writer for Archie Comics' Sonic the Hedgehog issue number 160 after the departure of previous chief writer Ken Penders. As oh, of fourth, in Sonic Comics. Yes, as, as of April 4th, 2018, he's currently lead writer um, of IDW publishing Sonic the Hedgehog comic series. He's also known for Archie's Mega Man uh, New Crusaders, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Archie 2015. So I guess people must really like those Sonic comics if they're saying you might write the best Sonic game story ever. Damn. I mean, that's pretty high fucking praise. I guess I'll, I'll believe it when I fucking see it, but hey, if a good writer's attached to it, that's another good sign about this game being good. Um, Yeah. Yeah, right. no, he's a he's a writer for the comics. Then, so as soon as you Google his name, you see him with Archie and Sonic stuff. So yeah, he's he's a writer. So, uh, by the way, we got like fifteen people watching right now. Thank you, everyone who's watching. Drop a like if you like this shit. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, I think that's about it for all the fucking pop culture shit. RJ, I don't know if you want to stick around or hop off, but um, I, I, Saggy, I know you'll probably want to stay for this for this drama shit, because I know you live for this shit. Yeah, because she's a drama llama. Shut the hell up, RJ, you <laughs> stupid bitch! Uh, Dra- hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Talking pretty big for someone who was defending a show that just got cancelled. Bro, why Ooh. don't you eat a bag of friggin' eggplants and friggin' water squirts, you friggin' <laughs> Hey, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Eddie Evolution, okay? Yeah. I wasn't even gonna say the name, but you went ahead and said it. Hey, just don't Come say it on, three everyone times. Everyone knows who you're talking about when you say that. Come on. Just don't say it three times or else you'll get like a fucking spanking video in your DMs. I feel so bad. Jamie has no idea what's going on. <laughs> She's just sitting there like, I don't know what's going on. It's all right. I've given you plenty of that by talking it's about some Lucas kind Warner. of personal drama. It's cool. Yeah. Some fucking yeah. turd mongler. We talk, we did a stream about it if you're ever. Oh uh, yeah. No, but uh, yeah, I, I do need to go. Actually, I got to get some water and get some stuff ready for my right. exam tomorrow. But thank good. you, Anna, for inviting me. And, good uh, night, nice RJ. To talk to you, uh, Jamie and Saggy. So, catch oh, yeah. you guys on the flip side. Good get night. Out. Take it easy, man. Yeah. What what a good fuck. God damn. Glad he's gone. What the fuck? I know, Annie? right? Jesus, Ann. Holy God. shit. Damn. God, having RJ here. God. <laughs> Might, might, might as well invite like the 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 grand wizard of of the turd alliance. Hey, you might as well what? On the friggin <laughs> that was great, Jamie. That's actually like <laughs> the man, grand I, wizard of the turd alliance. No, I, like I I really actually vibe with that joke a whole lot. Uh, what's up, <laughs> Kevin McAllister? I'm I'm disappointed you didn't show up in the new fucking you didn't show up in the new fucking Home Alone movie, but RJ is like descendant did. That's fucking really weird. Damn. <laughs> no, nah, RJ, RJ is dope. All right, I like I like RJ. At least I didn't He's say cool. it was RJ. Well, I just said it was his to. descendant. Yeah. Somebody has to like RJ. Of course, I like everybody. <laughs> RJ, wow! <laughs> Look, I'm, no, it's, it's not you, RJ. It's definitely not you, but it could definitely be like your descendant. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's less insulting or what. No, I think he was talking about my, my response when he left. <laughs> Oh okay, Jesus. Oh okay. See, I see Jamie, it. you like RJ now until you smell him. Then you'll be like, Damn. oh boy. <laughs> well, I, good thing I don't smell people. <laughs> I, I don't go around smelling people. That that's Jingle not my. Uh, yeah. Jingle person bells. smell. Yeah, per- person smells. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, um. So yeah, there's something I want to talk about. You know what? Before we get to talk about the drama bullshit, there's something I want to talk about that's just kind of funny, real fast. Let's just talk about something that's really fucking funny. Um. Because it's kind of like a, this kind of like a round, an around here thing that I want to talk about real fast. Um, so I don't know if you've ever been to the fucking Providence Mall uh, before. I, I know you won't, Jamie, but like, say, I don't know if you've ever been to like Rhode Island before. I have. But, oh, you have? Yeah. All right. Well, apparently some fucking artist was living in like the interior of a mall for like four years. Four fucking years. They were just living in the interior of a fucking mall. And apparently, like, there's a movie that's being made about this shit. There's actually a movie that's being made at, at, about about some dude who just, like, bugged it secretly in a mall for, like, four fucking years. And I don't know. I, I feel like that's really fucking interesting. Like, apparently, he, he worked there at the fucking mall. And just security didn't catch him for, like, four whole fucking years. He had, like, a whole uh, a whole setup, like, with a door and everything. He had electricity in there. And yeah, he basically he basically just mooched off the mall for like four fucking years, rent free, got free electricity, Damn. free power, a bunch of free shit. That's actually pretty based. I know, right? 
That, you know th- th- yeah. This guy is a true revolutionary. This this motherfucker is doing more than uh, uh, Lucas Warner uh, 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 oh my could God. ever hope to accomplish. Jesus Christ. Th- this <laughs> is a real revolutionary right here. Well, do you see what Ken and Dark Machine said? Ekans, I choose you, and that's the poop emoji. <laughs> <laughs> true. True. Oh, man. But no, this actually is like, you know what's sad about it, though? In the end, he was banned from the fucking mall for life. When they found him, they banned him for life. He can never step foot in that mall. Again. Banned him? I would have given him a fucking medal. I would have just let him start <laughs> living there, you know? Yeah, I would have been like, you know what? You, uh, you, you've you, got some fucking game, yo. You're, well, you're like a ninja up in this shit. Holy shit. Wonder how he pulled it off? Because he managed to, like... You- uh, apparently, when the entire fucking mall was constructed, there was some like there was like some interiors that just had nothing in them between like a bunch of other like uh, I don't know what you'd compare it. I don't know what you'd call it, but like you know the, the various rooms in fucking malls where like businesses. Yeah. Have a lot of malls have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, yeah, there was like an interior which like no one had real access to, and he just managed to come across it. So he found something that nobody else fucking knew about, and he pioneered his own fucking settlement basically out of it uh, for free. And, like, yeah, how can you get mad at someone who's that fucking, in, you know, ingenious when it comes you to You can't. You can't. You really he's a, can't. He's, a, he's brilliant. Unless you're a fucking he's fascist. He's a hero. Unless you're a goddamn fucking fascist, of course. Because then, in yeah, that yeah. case. Um, but, yeah. All right. Um, so, I want to bring this up real fast. Because our our buddy. Our, no, he's not anyone's buddy, actually. Um, Von Helton did something recently. I just want to shine a light on this because uh, one of our buddies is uh, in danger. Uh, so, our, this dude, Gasby Rotten, who gives me a bunch of fucking updates on important shit, gives a bunch of people updates uh, just in general about what he's up to. He got fucking, uh, you know, he got some community guideline strikes just for having Von Helton's content on his channel and trying to archive that shit. And, um, you know... I, I mean, <laughs> the only thing I can, can suggest to this guy is maybe trying to put a disclaimer in front of your fucking videos. Um, yeah, well, also, if you're going to archive shit like that, I, I would make a second channel just for, like, arch- and make it clear that that's well, what it is. I, I'm, Call yeah, it I'm pretty, Von Helton Archives or something. I'm, well, I'm pretty sure he's done that before he's gotten the same fucking treatment, so it, it's it's pretty fucking shitty, honestly. Uh, Lucas Warner's like good for him. Yeah, I guess we agree on one fucking thing. Like when it comes to that, like that dude, he should have. Con- man, I wish it was like fucking sixteen years that that motherfucker was able to get away with that shit. Because fuck it, like everybody should be trying to do that. It's like, a, it's everyone a- should be look look up find your your local mall. Find out if they got any any extra space in there. All right, uh, but build yourself a little uh, little bunker. It's a victimless quote unquote crime. You know what I mean? Well, he was sentenced apparently. I just looked it up. He got probation. Damn, Damn that's fucking crazy. Yeah, he got probation. Well, Did... I mean, it's an, it's technically like illegal. I mean, sure, but like, yeah, okay, yeah, it it's wasted space. It's space that no one's using. And let's be honest, these malls waste a ton of fucking power. They're it, not going to Yeah, miss. but it, it does just go to show just how much like. People don't care, even if it's wasted space that could go better off, like literally housing someone. They're just like, no, yeah. that's against. It's like we go, we go against all fucking human decency just for the sake of like there's a rigid set of laws that we must always abide to exactly how it is. I mean, he had no running water. He had to use the bathrooms in the mall. Yeah, so... that was crazy. Like I said, he was mooching off the mall, but like, oh still. shit! What you mean? He used the bathrooms in the mall without buying anything? What a criminal! Damn! What a fucking <laughs> front. yeah, that's true. Wait, I use the bathrooms in the mall without paying for anything. Damn! You can't say that. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's a, I reveal on stream. It's not acceptable. I take right. a friggin' big grumpy in those bathrooms. Ma- like. Mall security is coming for you. A fucking Good. grumpy. Mall security don't do shit. Trust me, I know. All right, so I, there's something I want to play. Uh, I want to play some some bullshit real fast because, uh, like I said, fucking Stinky's been fucking with people, and so I, I decided to like watch one of his streams, and I found some of the most disturbing shit I've literally ever heard him say. So I've got a few timestamps here. We'll watch this, and then we'll wrap up the fucking show. Um, I was gonna talk about I was gonna talk about <laughs> Lucas Warner's Twitter account, but I'm not gonna talk about it tonight because Lucas Warner. Being in the chat has given me more than enough of my nightly di- dose of fucking talking about <laughs> Lucas Warner. And I still want to have that interview with him. So we'll talk about that shit another time. Um, but yeah. yeah <laughs> All true. right. All right. Let's see what fucking Stinky has to say. Because uh, he's been going around and talking about how he wants to impregnate Miss Parker. And that really oh, makes me God. uncomfortable. So, That's, um. Yeah. Yeah, it's really uh, gross. It's really icky. fucking gross. Yeah, a little bit. No, it's really well, fucking yeah, gross. Yeah, super icky. Did she really fall for that? I guess. 
How could you fall for that? I don't know. I mean, couldn't you just go to weather? I like what you said see? to me the other day that the gods told you that you and Miss Parker had like twenty kids together. That was kind of <laughs> oh God! Yeah, We're like, <laughs> he's like, no, it's sixteen kids. <laughs> We're like, what the fuck? These people are so creepy. This is so creepy. You you got J Dubs lying in his fucking bed, like half, half asleep. asleep, being like, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh yeah, you know, you you and uh, Miss Parker having a bunch of kids, man. Yeah, that's you know what really like, disturbs what me about this. This is the this is the weirdest thing I've ever heard Von and it gets worse by the way, but this is the weirdest oh. shit I've ever heard Von Helton say because it's not about him, it's not about his made up gods, it's about another human being like on the internet who he interacts with on a regular basis that he's having these weird, strange fantasies about. It's like a whole new level of creepy and weird. Um what, what do you think of this as like an outsider looking in, Saggy? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like? Every time you talk about this guy, I tune out because he's just weird. Yeah, he is pretty fucking weird, isn't he? I just am like, what, what? I guess, you know, um, what it was, see, none of the prior generations had twins or triplets. And so every time Miss Parker got pregnant, she popped out twins and triplets, man. It was crazy. What the fuck are you talking? <laughs> Why are you talking about? That's all just some random dream that he had live on. <laughs> what? Why, why is he talking about Miss Parker's reproductive habits? I have no idea. What the fuck no is idea. wrong with you? And that's just like, that's just one fucking taste of what he talked about in this oh dream. Like, I'm going to have, I'm going to, I'll have more fucking timestamps for you guys uh, at some point in time. But, um, but yeah, that's just an example. I talked a little bit about that in the geek room too. It's like that we were all fucking flabbergasted. That's, that's so but, creepy. Yeah, it really is creepy. And, he still hasn't taken down that fucking stream, so apparently it's something that he's not ashamed of, but he literally talks about, you know, I, I'm not even going to repeat the fucking shit that he says, you just heard it, but some person who he doesn't even have any, like, formal relation with, you know what I mean? I, if anything, it's fucking antagonistic. And he's having those types of thoughts about her just because she's a fucking woman. It's absolutely fucking disgusting. Uh, yeah, Christ. I'm not surprised about the disgusting filth you find on YouTube these days. It doesn't no. surprise me at all. Well, no, he got banned from YouTube, perma banned, but he's still allowed on Twitch. <laughs> he got banned from YouTube, but he's still allowed on Twitch. Wrap your fucking head around that shit. Twitch has more laid back rules. That's usually no, people... not well in some ways, yeah, but like that's with like music and shit like that. Like they're way more strict when it comes to like hate speech and shit. Also, I didn't even show you the timestamp. Where J Dub starts talking about how he wants to kill himself, and then like five minutes later, Von Helton's like, "What? He never talked about being suicidal. I didn't hear that." It's like you literally heard the man that, say it live on air. That shit can get you banned from Twitch. Yeah, the, he's done a million. He's has he has, has conspiracy theories and shit all the fucking time. I don't get how he's still on fucking Twitch. They must there must be some fucking madman who's just like looking over every single report that they're getting about Von. I mean, I've never done it personally. Maybe no one's doing it, but. And see, That's once Vaughn eventually does get banned from Twitch, he's going to come and be like, oh, well, look, here's Unterhaven talking about me, how I should be banned from Twitch. I bet they got me banned. Like, I, oh, yeah, I sure, promise yeah, that's going to happen. Ma you know mark my words. Happen. I'm I'm fucking Nostradamus over here. I know Good. what's going if on. If you're being weird on the internet and saying some sus shit, get the fuck out. Yeah, sir. Vaughn's gonna get banned. He's gonna blame us for getting banned, and he's gonna cry about it. Aww, oh, yeah. cry, old man, cry. Oh, uh, and by the way, there's something else I want to show out because uh, I, I made some clips of Vaughn Helton's Switch channel with uh, on the Stoned Rejects, and uh, look what he did: completely disabled the ability for not just me, but literally anyone to make clips of his channel. So I had to go and like punch yeah. in these timestamps manually, just because like I made one set of timestamps that made him look. <laughs> bad out of context he's like no he can't do that and he just disables anyone from making clips. if you that that's the fucked up thing like if you're gonna put stuff up on the internet that you're afraid to have clipped that that you don't stand by then or that, clarify that you... make it so you can't get taken out of context but that's yeah. the thing though it doesn't with the technology we have with our phones that can but... screen record you could just take the clip from the stream yeah, but but the point is, like, Vaughn's shit looks bad in and out of context. True, very true. Vaughn just looks bad no matter, like, I could say <laughs> yeah. something that, like, someone might clip it out of context and go be dishonest and be like, oh, yeah, Jamie said this. And I could explain myself and be like, no, I didn't say that. But Vaughn doesn't have that defense because no matter what Vaughn says, like, yeah, it always looks bad because it is bad because it's beyond the fucking pale. 
No, I agree. Uh, so there's one last thing I want to talk about. One last fucking thing I want to talk about because I forgot about this. Um, because I, I brought this up to you recently, Jamie. The idea of like non-human uh, animals being classified as like you know you know sentient beings with rights and shit like that. And apparently, octopuses, squids, and lobsters are uh, among consideration for what could be considered animals that could be given like rights to some extent over in the United know. Kingdom. Uh, how do you feel Based, about why this? not? Because, like, what? mostly people are just talking about, like, um, like primates and shit like that. But I'm pretty sure, like, octopus are very intelligent, too. The, there's bottlenose yeah. dolphins, which are very intelligent. I know that um, I'm pretty sure, like, crows are, like, really fucking intelligent. Like, there's a number of, of species that are that are quite intelligent. Yeah, pigs are. Uh, there, there's a number of animals that are really, really, really smart. And, no, I'm all for this. Um like I've said before, like I'm an ethical vegan. I'm not a vegan in practice, but like ethically, I agree with veganism, and I think we need to move towards uh, not uh, 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 wantonly killing uh, but do, uh, other creatures. Do you think it's we weird to like prioritize animals that have like higher intelligence? Do you think like that's um I, honestly my like I believe in like valuing life. And 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 sentient life and something that can feel pain, especially sure, but like, like if it yeah. can, yeah. I, I suppose that is kind of the line. Like if something can actually experience like pain, but like there's a bunch yeah, of scientists but... who like debate the idea that like plants can actually feel pain. Well, it's not the... actually like decided. Like oh yeah, they yeah. can. You know what I mean? But the so. thing is, like the the smarter an animal is, the the more it, its ability to feel pain. And, and like, it, it's, it's kind of like, do you, do you want to like, be like, uh, basically abusing animals that are intelligent enough to know what's happening to them? Like, I, I don't think that's okay. And I, I'd like to move towards a system where, where we don't do that anymore. I, we need to stop factory farming all animals, honestly. And, and we need to stop tr treating animals like they're our fucking, like, uh, resources to to just use their their you living know creatures and mm -hmm. um yeah it says right here that the, the entire reason why this happened is because there's a new study that came out that suggests that they have um certain pain receptions and yeah. like you know reactions to it. so yeah pain actually does have a big factor i think in a lot of people's way and how they look at you know how animals should by, be prioritized and how we look out out for them because, like, there's always going to be some fucking hick redneck who's like, what, are you going to start, like, you know, platforming for the rights of bacteria and shit like that? <laughs> like, what? what's next? And, like, you know there's going to be fucking people who say that type of shit. It's yeah. Like, it's like, no, we can still care about fucking animal rights without sacrificing everything that we like. We, You know, just because we start caring about fucking animals doesn't mean that nobody has to ever eat meat ever. Like, I'm never going to give up fucking yeah. meat. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. I'm never going to give up meat. But we can still stand to treat animals a little bit. I mean, a bit more respect. I At like least. to give up meat. I, I'm not in a position where I, I feel like I'm able to right now. But I, I definitely like to in the long run. It, especially if we can start replacing meat with like synthetic meat and shit. I derive but... too much pleasure from eating, so maybe it's I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm salmon, I'm the opposite. If I, I get rid of my salmon. I'm rioting. Everyone's I... getting to. Yeah, it's eat. okay. Fish don't have feelings. Don't worry. <laughs> That's actually not true. No, um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, like I, I'll be honest. Like I I I have the opposite. Like I derive no pleasure from eating. So I'm. Damn. I'm maybe not the best judge of this, but like personally, like when it comes to like, as long as if we could create like synthetic meat that tastes the same, like, and, and has the same nutritional value, then why wouldn't you eat that instead of killing animals? If it tastes the same and if it like has the same nutritional value, then sure. Yeah. I don't yeah. Care. Um, but there's see that there's also another angle of it for me. And, and I view it as like a, a, a broader, like unethical. Okay. I view it as like, we are basically, and we we've already done this. I mean, we, we we're responsible for a number of species going extinct, and I believe we're also responsible for um the 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 suppression of uh, certain animals' abilities to evolve. Oh, definitely, a hundred percent. Yeah, and and reach their full potential and, because you know, of th us. Th that's something that we could actually help with if we actually cared to do it as a species. Yeah. We could actually help. Uh, you know, exactly. With um, but because of us, like like maybe pigs would be the next uh, uh, species to become intelligent. May maybe any other fucking animal. But like it, if it was gonna happen, we've 
thrown a huge wrench in that and held them back by by um, for millions of years and yeah it's what do you think of what fit says right here unfortunately there's uh, a lot of issues the synthetic meat including environmental damage I think going synthetic is better for the environment but now um uh, yeah, and not at this time. I mean, there's always a chance that technology in that regard could yeah, advance, right? I, exactly. I think we need to just c come up with better solutions, work on that, figure out, like, okay, if this isn't good, let's find out another alternative. And I, I believe there are alternatives out there. We, we, technology, science, the shit that we're able to do, we're able to do some fucking amazing things, okay? I, I don't view anything as, as beyond our potential. We just need to find out how to do it and i absolutely believe there's ways to 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 erase our our need for for meat uh, and, see, and... the thing is though like for example i'm i i kind of am with you like i eat meat but i i feel like fish are kind of the exception here because look at fish's life right their lifespan is literally to reproduce and die like that's all they do they 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 live till they become mature enough to reproduce and die that is their life cycle you cannot tell me that that is not food <laughs> like their life they, their only purpose in life like is to breed and die they I mean, don't couldn't you as say they, that about us though like... as they exist now well yeah that's a that's that's a point too but as they exist now that's how they uh, uh, the, the the reproductive cycle is, and they have a short lifespan. But but what if what if we weren't farming them and 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 killing them and eating them? Like what if what if fish were meant to be the 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 species that's dominant on this planet? What if any other species? What if cats? What if cows? Like I I, I don't know. Like it's just I think if we can have look look here's 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 my point i'm not telling anyone like you need to stop eating meat right fucking now i'm saying if we can if we can lessen harm that is done we should do so if we can and so you know avoiding eating meat maybe don't just never eat meat but i do think it's good to like eat less meat you know and and try to eat more ethical, no i agree with that agree, ethically grown meat you know when, and... Whenever I do eat that shit, I make sure I like I eat that shit. Like I don't I don't put any food to waste. Honestly, like I try to make sure I I always like you know eat portions I... that I know I can eat. You know. I will be honest. I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of on on like uh, the fence of of like kind of wanting to be like maybe we should outlaw bacon. No, no fucking outlaw I... bacon. Guys, like when you look at pigs, and like how smart they are. And like, I, you can have a pig. In fact, well, that pigs, gets into a whole like philosophical debate of where do you draw the ethical line of what's intelligent enough to continue. Pigs can make not. better uh, 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 pets than cats in some situations. Well, I mean, That's all right, true. like, so, well, like some people fucking eat octopus and shit like that. Should they not do that? I, I don't think they should. No, some and people that, eat that's... fucking calamari or squids like smart enough that you'd consider them not. You know, like, but like, it, it's a, it's a, it's a I'll be honest. place to draw an ethical line. Octop octopus, octopuses look intelligent. They look no, like they've, they've they're got very, something no, they are on. very intelligent. They don't just look intelligent. They're very fucking intelligent. Yeah. But like they, they have facial features. Like they, 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 they have like, oh, I get what you're getting they at They make now. expressions like, yeah, like yeah, they yeah. look, they look like intelligent beings and like that really feels weird to to eat something you know like what's that. really messed up is that even though jamie has a point it's like like look at veal right veal is a baby that's one thing like i i oh, veal is yeah. right veal I've, is disgusting right i've eaten veal and i i like the taste of veal and that's the yeah. problem like the things that are bad like bacon is freaking delicious veal is freaking delicious and i don't like to eat veal because it's a baby cow like i, I yeah people say well you'll eat b big cow yeah because at least that cow got to grow up <laughs> like i don't want to eat a baby that seems evil but not just a baby but they torture them and, and don't let them move yeah, around it's or... really messed right, up yeah. right right so it's like i i should make the make the choice as much as veal is delicious i refuse to eat it anymore Once yeah I don't try the veal I mean, don't try the cannolis don't try that shit I mean, look, I, I personally believe there is no ethical consumption under capitalism. And I've said this before, no matter what you're doing, if you're engaging in, in the system as it exists now, whatever food you buy, whatever products you buy, uh, 
there is some kind of unethical production involved. There is some kind of exploitation or something fucked up al along the way. And How much? Sorry, I was gonna. I was not. <laughs> I think it's actually funnier that it was only up for one second. <laughs> um, no, but no, like continue, I, continue. the the point is like at the end of the day, we're doing harm constantly, and so we we can never avoid doing like we can never just become creatures that that don't do harm around us unless we literally like i, I don't know start living off the land and, and you Which know like are it's, never it's, gonna do like yeah. yeah it's very hard to do that so I, I i think it's it's about like figuring out step what by you, step yeah yeah, yeah. and figure out what you are okay with what what you view to be ethical or not and like what are your priorities my like it's gonna I don't be different put, for everyone that's true yeah exactly i think animals should get some level of priority, but I don't put them bet before human beings. And I recognize there are people, especially like, for example, like poor people. I mean, people do, you do, living... do you think that's hypocritical, though? I'm not saying no. it is, but like. No, because like, like I said, like, I, I care about people's capacity for pain. Like, if you if you compare uh, a poor family living in the inner city that can barely afford anything but McDonald's, and you say, well, well, fuck you. You shouldn't go to McDonald's. You shouldn't feed your starving children because cows and pigs are getting slaughtered because of that. I weigh the harm there, and I think, no, children going hungry and, and poor people that can't afford anything else, I, I, I think their suffering is a little more important. But overall, we should work to lessen the suffering that we inflict onto others. All right, that's interesting. That's an interesting person. Way to ruin my chicken pot pie, Jamie. Thank you. Oh, da oh shit. <laughs> you eat chicken pot pie, damn. But no, see, I understand that. I think the issue really lies in the fact that, like Jamie said, the cost of eating healthy is significantly, for some reason, higher than eating unhealthy, yeah. right? Because, like, a burger at McDonald's is a dollar. And most people who are poor can at least scrounge up a dollar, right, mm -hmm. just to feed themselves. So the price of eating healthy is too high. Not to mention, I tried being... Um, uh, what is it called? A pescatarian where I only ate fish. Yeah, someone in the chat mentioned that they were one of Right. So I only ate fish for a year. And here's the problem, right? Is that you people don't actually understand until you take that route how much actual meat is in everything. Yeah. And that's the thing, because when I was when I was doing that, looking for something to eat that didn't have any chicken or beef or pork, uh, anything like that in it was difficult. Things you would not expect to have meat in it had meat in it. So it was hard for that reason, too. And not only that, because people don't know how to properly balance their nutrition with like protein and stuff, which is what we get from meat. I was mm -hmm. very malnourished af yeah. after a year of not eating meat where I was fainting because I didn't properly, I didn't buy vitamins. I didn't. So I, I had to go back to eating meat because yeah. if I didn't, I, I was gone. Like I was literally like losing. I felt my life being sucked out of no, me. No, I, I, I understand that. And I, trust me, I know something about malnourishment too, which is why I right. don't, I can't not eat meat right now. Like maybe in the future, if I can afford to like buy super, super healthy shit. But like right now, I'm just like, no, if I don't eat meat, I will be malnourished and I, I can't. I can't. Right, no, and definitely. that's the problem, yeah. too, because the cost of eating healthy and not eating meat is higher. Like, it's cheaper to eat meat. That's the sad By thing. intention, by the way. Like, that's completely right. fucking intentional. Yeah, because like. it, well, it keeps the, uh, the, the machine going. It keeps, yep, the, uh, keeps the corporate machine going. Yeah, the the factory crazy. farming industry, you know. They don't it, want it, people to have alternatives. They don't want people to go for the more ethical options because those cost way more money, and that's exactly how they prevent people from like. That's how they justify people in their in their mind to like make right. decisions. Like yeah. a salad, you can get a salad at McDonald's, and it's like five six bucks. You can get a burger for a dollar. Like, what kind of like logic is that? Exactly. And people people who act like that's food. not true, like fucking grind my gears. I hate when people act like that's not the case when it clearly is. But yeah, no, it is. You go to Wendy's right now. And get a salad. You're spending like eight bucks for a friggin' full size salad at Wendy's. No, definitely. Right? Yeah. You can yeah, you yeah. can get a you can get a burger for a dollar. Like what? And and the, and the, and the thing is too, the burger is just one single burger that might not fill you up, and the salad barely fills. Like the salad, it, it's just it's just dumb. Yeah, unless yeah. it's fucking tossed, it's not gonna be that great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'll have two number nines. <laughs> oh God. Although I do like uh, Wendy's salads, by the way. 
Yeah, so yeah. Well, pretty much good. anything on Wendy's menu is pretty good, let's be honest. All right. Baconator, yeah. Yeah, the, ba the bacon. I don't like ba I actually generally don't like bacon, but I do like the baconator. Damn. Damn, it's like even bacon? good enough for you. I don't like dislike delicious. bacon. I just don't love it as much as some people do. Jamie's not like a fucking foodie like I am. I I love food. I cherish food with all my yeah, heart. Yeah, I, I, I. Everyone knows that I have an eating disorder. I have I have a song about having an eating disorder. I do not like food. It's a good song though. So. Yeah, if I'm what I eat, it must be nothing. I have Damn. the opposite problem, Jamie. I like food too much. Oh Damn. yeah, me like I, I don't know I if I like it too problem. much because like if I if I don't eat enough food, I'll wither away. So I kind of like that I like food, but so ever since my gallbladder issues, eating food has been like different because certain foods go right through me because now I don't have a gallbladder to slow that digestive process, so it mm. goes right through me. So all my bile is coming from my pancreas, which is just directly deposited Jesus into my intestines. Christ. So. Yeah, because that's what the gallbladder is. Like, I didn't know what a gallbladder yeah. was to problems. It's basically just like this sack that is where <laughs> the pancreas ex puts in the vial, the bile, which is like the stomach acid. And it, it the gallbladder slowly deposits the bile into your intestines as the food is passing. So without that gallbladder, um, which you can survive without, but without that gallbladder, the pancreas just immediately puts it in. So everything digests fast. So when I'm eating certain foods, especially foods with a lot of fat, that that the gall without the gallbladder it just goes right through me so i'm immediately going to the toilet like especially with coffees and stuff, it's bad oh but yeah i was gonna ask you about coffee that like sucks. yeah that, that, that i've i've always like I've, I've always had coffee have that effect on me it's like oh shit like literally <laughs> <laughs> like, i mean okay. it it was so the one thing because i remember i gained a little weight after my gallbladder kind of like without it kind of my body regulated itself and it took a while for my body to get used yeah, to. yeah that, that would make sense but, yeah, but sense. when i had the problems i lost like freaking 30 40 pounds wow because, because i physically couldn't eat yeah that's not good i'm glad that you uh got whatever you had to do get done well, i almost died too because um, oh my god Jesus i had gall <laughs> i had gallstones and it was so inflamed the doctor said that it was like the worst she has seen in a long time she said that if i waited any longer it would have burst and because the gallbladder also contains a ton of bacteria. It would have poisoned me. Well, I'm glad you're alive. No, yeah, sometimes I'm glad I am too. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, everyone was asking. I know the feel. Right? Everyone was asking me, like, how did you lose all that weight? Oh, the secret is you almost die. That's the secret. You want to lose weight, guys, almost die. You'll lose it freaking quick. In three months, I lost 40 pounds because I physically couldn't eat. But it's also interesting because it taught me about how the body works, right? So... When I was having pains and noticed it, I thought something, it was like a stomach bug, but I, I, I was so reluctant to go to the doctors, but I figured it, like I figured out a system to kind of minimize the pain. So the system was, and this is a good diet thing too, because it's actually kind of true, because I've heard this before. So if I, anytime I ate, like I could eat in the middle, like in the morning, but not too much food and I'd be fine, no pain, nothing. Then after I ate anything, like it didn't matter how big or small, anything, it could just be like a single potato chip, right? After 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my time. After 7 p.m. after I ate, I would be in pain for eight hours. And that's when I realized it's because that is the time that your body, and I think for other people it might be different, but so, so figure out your time where your body starts doing its like restore thing. Like it's a reboot, like it's doing yeah. the digestive stuff, it's flushing out your system, getting you yeah, ready for yeah. tomorrow. You might and, that's what it does. My, my, my body is the opposite. I can't eat for like the most of the day. And then like in the evening I, and at night, like I get super hungry. Yeah. I'm everyone's like wired differently. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's body's different, but your body at some point when you're getting ready to sleep, like when you start getting tired, um, you know, when we sleep, that's when our body does all the stuff it does. Um, but yeah, for me, it was seven o'clock. Anytime I ate anything after that time, no matter how big or small, no matter what it was, even it, it would just be pain, pain for eight hours straight. That's when I was like, okay, I can't eat after this time. And that's when I started losing a lot of weight because I was eating less portions of food to not minimize my, my pain. And then at night I would just not eat anything. So I was going without food and that's when my body was doing the digestive stuff and doing the stuff. Cause anytime I ate something and it was trying to digest that food, that's where the pain came from. 
because now my yeah. gallbladder was like, oh, there's food in you. We have to deposit the bile. But it was it was in pain. It was injured. So it was just bad. So that's when I realized, like, yeah, after eating 7 o'clock, like, you can't do that. <laughs> people are sending you a bunch of love for, like, sharing your fucking story and shit like that. Oh, yeah, no, it, it was an experience. I'll tell you that. And listen, I asked some women because gallbladder issues are usually common in women who have had children. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, that it's common with women who have had children. And I've asked women who have had their gallbladder removed before, too, and have kids. And I said, what was worse for you giving birth to the gallbladder? They said, hands down, the gallbladder pains were much worse than contraction. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude. I was like, well, but here's the thing. I dealt with that pain for three months, okay? I have a very high tolerance for pain now. <laughs> Like, once you go through certain experiences of pain in your body, everything else is a freaking cakewalk. That explains how you're a YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. True. Y'all can't hurt me, bitches. I had gallbladder <laughs> pains for three months. Fuck off. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Damn right. Right. Well, I, I think we're going to wrap this shit up. Uh, I do want to send people over to uh, to Matt Jarbo's stream and uh, go tell him. Yeah, go tell Big Dick Matt Jarbo that we said fucking hi to him. Go. Uh, yeah. Go, yeah. Say fucking... I said fuck you. Oh, but, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but first, subscribe to Lady Hopium. Yeah, go get Jamie to one fucking K. Also, go subscribe to Saggy. I'll have her link in the description for people watching the VOD. Do uh, it. RJ's as well. I'll have that done down below. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for joining. Go uh, go, go tell Matt Jarbo that we sent you to drop a like if you didn't like this shit yet. Also, check out the Patreon down below and all the other fucking shit down there. Uh, also, go subscribe to the Stone Rejects Twitch. I'm going to start using that more as soon as I get my own, my new overlay, which should be later this month. So stay tuned. And as always, guys, thanks for chilling out. Stay toasty. Bye. Peace.